Hey everyone, my name is Hunter Hauk, and in today's video, I'm going to be shipping some little isopods from Oregon to Florida. So, that is very exciting, and I'm going to take you along with me. So, I guess I'll give you a little backstory here before we get started. So, these isopods are going to my friend Gracie, who also has a reptile YouTube channel called EFG Exotics, and she's going to be filming an unboxing of these. So, definitely check out this video, and then after you see me package them, go watch her unbox them once they get to Florida. I will have that video linked down below. I think our videos will probably schedule them to go up like at the exact same time. So I'm just very, very excited for this video because it should be very fun. So I have two species of isopods, Porcelliolavis, aka the dairy cow isopod, I think, I'm not good with common names of these little crustaceans, and Armadilidium klugi, which is the Montenegro. Anyways, so my isopods, they just have had lots of little babies, and so I don't really want a ton of isopods, I think they're beautiful and stuff, but I have no plans to like breed them on a larger scale, so my friend Gracie really likes isopods. And she just got some new ones and I was like, hey, how would you feel about two new species of isopod for your collection? So she's getting the babies from mine. So they're going to be kind of tiny, so we'll barely be able to see them. So it might take a while to pack it up, but it should be fun. And I'll take you along with me and teach you how I personally am shipping these isopods. Okay, we're going to start off with the dairy cow isopods. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put this on here. As you can see, it says P. Lavis for Porcelia Lavis. That way Gracie knows which is which, although she can also tell by looking. But this used to be a springtail container, so it's just being repurposed and recycled so that I don't have to buy new ones. So yeah, I guess let's go on to the next one. Here is what the adult Armadilidium klugi looks like. Oh geez, this one doesn't look like it's doing too well. Oh no, it's fine, Never mind. I think it was sleeping or something. Okay, yeah. But anyways, they're a very beautiful species. All right, I'm back with clean hands this time. <laughs> and I'm gonna be throwing the lid on this one. As you can see, a kluge. I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I spelled one of these wrong. <laughs> All right, I've got my box. As you can see on two sides, it has the live insects. Although we all know they are crustaceans. That's our little secret though. <laughs> Handle with care. Um, keep at room temp and ring doorbell at delivery. And I just made those with my cameo. Now please do not poke holes in the box. That causes a lot more problems than it solves. And I'm not going to use a heat pack because the weather is great here and as you're aware, it's going to Florida so it definitely doesn't need a heat pack. So I'm going to put the Kluge in right now. And then I'm going to put more paper as a barrier. And then the Lavis. Actually, wait a second, I just realized I never taped these shut, and that's a bad idea. These lids are loose enough that having them not taped is an accident waiting to happen, so... Let me go in and tape them shut before something bad happens. Okay, I got this, now I'm gonna do it on the bottom one as well. Alright, all the containers are taped. Now I just want to put some packing at the top too, so that it doesn't slam around in the front. It's always better to have a lot of packaging than it is to have not enough packaging, because if you don't have enough packaging, it's gonna move around and get damaged. Okay. 
And let's test this out here. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do before we pack it up is put this little letter in here. But you don't get to read the letter, that's why it's blurred out, until you go over to Gracie's channel. So, if you want to see my biggest tip for caring for these isopods, definitely check out Gracie's video because it is written in this lovely little letter on my personal stationery with my logo. <laughs> But, anyways, without further ado, wrong way, let's close up this box. Apparently I'm almost out of tape too, lovely. I'm gonna do that. Tape again. And tape again over on this side. It's called the H tape method. And it's super important that you do that for safety. And on the bottom, it's only taped through, but it's not H taped, so I'm gonna finish H taping it. So I'm using Priority Mail today, as you can see right there, because basically that's just the fastest other than overnighting it, but overnighting it is $40 more, so we're not going to do that, because they'll be perfectly fine to go for just two days. And now I'm just going to stick the label down. And as you can see here, it does have the scientific name on the outside of the packaging. That is the law, you have to do that. It's part of the Lacey Act, and it's regulation of the International Association, or no, International Air Transport Association. You have to have the scientific name on the outside. And usually you're supposed to also put the quantity, but since it's isopods, you can't really count them. So we're just gonna have to pass on that. And now I believe we are good to go. Let's take this to the post office.